Hello everyone, it's Matt here and this is just a quick overview of the issues surrounding Toys R Us and its impact on the hobby. Um, so for those of you who are possibly unaware, Toys R Us is generally speaking a UK toy seller. Um, or for at least what I'm going for is the UK branch of the toy seller. There's, the main bit is American and it's an American company but there's a UK branch and that's what I'm going to be talking about because it's a separate entity to the US. Um, so essentially Toys R Us have been operating large warehousey style stores um, pretty much since the 80s and that's where 80s, late 80s early 90s and that's when most of the stores were actually you know put up and opened um, and for the last seven out of the eight years they've not exactly been they haven't been making a profit um, whether that varies year by year I'm not sure at all I'm not seeing the figures um, so whether it was more one year than others you know and hopefully there was a recovery I'm not sure but essentially it's got to the point now where there's that much of a hole in their pension scheme that they needed to fill it and they couldn't bring up the revenue in time so they're closing they, essentially the company's closing down um, so Toys R Us can now sort of go three-ish sort of ways it can go where somebody will go we'll buy it once the pension thing sorted from the sales and then we'll decide what to do with it afterwards fair enough um, there's another option which is they will go we'll wait until Toys R Us paid off the pension scheme close a few stores and then go we'll actually come in now because it's in a recoverable position we can close off XYZ or agreed to that as part of the sale and sort it out that way. The last option is that they just essentially just buy the intellectual property of Toys R Us, so lot the name, the brands, the logos, and the copyrights and trademarks to use that in advertising uh, for branding for websites and shops and that's all that sort of stuff, and just keep it as an entity like that. Um, so essentially it's going to be an interesting couple of months in terms of what happens to Toys R Us. Now for the hobby, or certainly for Lego, because that's what I'm going to be talking about in terms of the impact, um, the impact on us hobbyists isn't going to be that great because Toys R Us, generally speaking, only sold stuff at RRP with the exception of certain items which either weren't selling or they wanted to get rid of, such as the Lego Ninjago movie theme. Um, and generally speaking, the only time you'd actually find Toys R Us reducing something sufficiently was if a lot of the other sellers were doing it, or traders were doing it as well. Um, and to be honest, the discounts you get in Toys R Us, generally speaking, were not that great. And the only reason I bought from Toys R Us is either there's a special promotion on, um, there's a special coupon available to print, to essentially have £5 off or £10 off or whatever. Um, or those exclusive sets or exclusive gifts you purchase that you could only get the Toys R Us or the third party um, such as sellers on Bricklink so in, in essence that's the only reason I use Toys R Us and the other fact was it was local so Smiths to get to a Smith to me is a bit of a bit of a journey um, whereas Toys R Us is literally within walking distance of my home um, so that's kind of swayed it in Toys R Us is that they're closest so you know um, but to be honest, if I was going to buy, if you you would support me, look at like a year ago, and where where would I most my leg purchase most of my Lego from? Um, I would come up with a, con a conclusion that most of it is actually bought via Amazon, or alternatively, it's via Bricklink. You know, in terms of individual parts, or even via Lego stores themselves, because of certain quirks you can actually get via Lego. So. Personally, I don't think the impact on the hobby is actually going to be that great. And, to, and you know, there's still Smiths, there's still Tesco, there's still Sainsbury's, there's still Dewey Smith, if they actually still stock in your local. Um, you know, there's, in Tesco, there's still plenty of sellers who will sell your Lego, do special discounts, do three for twos, and all that sort of stuff that will make it worth buying. And to be honest, the you know, I mean, even in this sale, they've just got 10% of Lego. Well, 10%'s not a lot off of the RRP nowadays. Um, if you're willing to wait, as, as ridiculous as it sounds, if you're willing to wait, 
nine times out of ten you can get a specific lego set you want for between 20 to 30 percent off fairly easily just by waiting um obviously there is a bit of a pre-fee or pre-fees to this in that some shops will only sell stock or only sell certain or certain sell lego sets uh for a period of time such as six months or a year and then they'll trade it but and then they'll reclaim the space for something else um and toys r us itself was actually a great example of this because they were selling the arctic uh snowplow uh from the city theme a couple of years ago where it was like a, a snowplow for sort of like a alpine city where it would uh, sort of like clear out snow and then spread grit out the back um within six months they'd stopped selling it i don't know why you know it would have been quite a good set to buy but the, you know six months after being released they'd stop selling it so i don't know um so it's a bit of a thing so but you know it's an impact on a hobby it's not going to be that great it's you know there's plenty of other sellers that are willing to take money um, and to be honest a lot of people are sort of going this is actually an opportunity for us to actually do more business because Toys R Us have gone um, so like the exclusive gifts we purchase those will possibly go to Smith's um, or through be generally available through other retailers such as Tesco or Sainsbury's um, and that sort of thing um, so yeah you know personally I don't think it's going to be an impact on our hobby at all you know or whether it, it has been worse as far as I'm concerned it could be a lot worse it could be I don't know that Smith is going under as well as Toys R Us I doubt it will but you know who knows what the future holds um, so lastly I wanted to talk about how I've taken advantage of the special discounts and there is one easy visual answer to that yes this is the for those of you who are unaware this is the Ninjago movie Destiny's Bounty the RRP of this set £109.99 a lot of money but Toys R Us at the moment or if you can find one um, because a lot of them are sold out they were selling that for £75 up for £75 so obviously the, with the 10% it made it £67.50 something so it was a 40, about a 43% discount if I remember my figures correctly I did actually work it out to the like, two decimal places um, so fantastic discount on the set it's a set I've wanted for a while but I haven't necessarily wanted to pay the RRP or um, and at the times when it was discounted in Smiths for like £90 or eat or that sort of thing it's just like I'd love to it's a fantastic price but I can't afford it at the moment so it's, it's been quite an opportune moment to sort of go hmm actually that's fairly you know it's like 40% discount I'll buy one and I bought that last Saturday and I did go in on the Sunday and they'd already sold out of it literally there was a uh, label for it but no stock and that situation has gone from what I can gather from reading a lot of the Discord I'm on and through Facebook groups and through other bits and pieces that's been the situation across the country is that they've sort of gone you know Disney's bounty 40% off get it now you know and people have been doing um, so obviously I said I've been in on Sunday Sunday was the day I sort of went to sort of look at the other bits you know the Saturday was just sort of like actually look at and see what was the big ticket items I'd want that were discounted because obviously if they're already discounted a 10% discount on top of that discount is going to be you know fantastic um, but sadly that was it for Saturday on Sunday I did purchase the last grey base plates uh, there's only two here um, but these are the 48 by 48 and these are rarer in terms of actual set, uh, sales because uh, these are normally not included in the 3 for 2 on Argos or in Tesco for example um, so to get some of those has been a bit of a boon I can probably use those for the shelf project um, that you've probably seen in one of my other videos um, so it's great to get some of those I did buy two proper sets and these if I can work my arm um, these are under the listed under classic uh, on brick set uh, but these are sets 10403 and 10402 so I'll just turn it around the right way um, and these are the build, building bigger thinking uh, range 
And I've essentially brought these just for parts because, you know, there's some fantastic parts in here, fantastic recolors, and, you know, as much as I hate to say this, you know, if I buy a set, I'm going to wait up and sort of go, what parts are in there, what parts do I need that are in there, and what parts could I find useful, and then sort of go, are those, is the cost of those pieces worth the postage from Bricklink, because I can buy other stuff as well. Um, and normally I'll go, I'll leave it because I can go on Bricklink, I can only buy those parts, it's all be cheaper, and I can buy, for the price of that set, I can use the money towards other things, so those two have just been on, sort of like, they 10% off, I'm never, it's bit, generally speaking, likely to find those on a discount match just even since I've launched, even though they've only launched this year, there's been a couple of, been a couple of months, and aside from Toys R Us, I've not actually seen them on discount, uh, but Toys R Us closing sale, I've not actually seen them on discount, so that's essentially why I've purchased them, um, I know my luck, they'll be 20-30% you know, off in a couple of months time, so again, I should hear my device and wait a bit more, but it's not like the 10% off, you know, there's some fantastic parts now. I can use them for the brick liner and a few other bits of PC stuff, some of the tiles especially. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's going to be an interesting couple of months, I think, for Toys R Us. And it's ones I'll be watching very closely, partially for bargains and partially to see the collapse of the retailer. Because in my lifetime, there's not been that many. There's been Comet, uh, there's been Woolworths, and there'll now be Toys R Us and new look possibly um, and that sort of thing so it's going to be interesting couple of months and especially for trying to get some uh, bargain out of it you know who knows maybe we might even be able to get some alt, uh, some train sets that they've got had in stock for god knows how long um, with some dug out of the back room to go and cheap so who knows um, but anyway that's this video finished with and I'm Matt and you'll see me in the next video